Hey everybody, Scary Spikes here, and thank you so much for joining me in our continuation of our comprehensive Destiny 2 Beginner's Guide for 2019. Today we'll be looking at strikes, so without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and click on this button here, or hold tab to open up your director, and click on the tower. Then you'll want to spawn in at the courtyard location, since it's the closest to Savala. When you've hit that, just go ahead and click on launch, and we'll see you there. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you land at the uh, courtyard here at the tower is make your way all the way down to speak with Zavala. Zavala is going to be the one to talk to about all of your weekly as well as daily strike bounties. And you can get quite a few rewards by just speaking to him and getting some bounties if you're going to be running strikes anyway. So go ahead and open up the dialogue. Alright, so when you start talking to Zavala, you'll notice that there's a similarity between this screen and the screen of other NPCs, namely the reputation bar at the top, and then you've also got your currencies there. You'll have uh, a preview of the engram that you'll receive when you fill up that reputation bar, which we'll go over in just a little while. And then down here you can see you have all of your bounties. So the first two will always be weekly bounties, which you'll have until the following Tuesday to complete. That's when they'll reset. The next four are going to be your daily bounties. So these have various tasks for you to complete while you're doing your uh, strikes and will reward you uh, based on the things that you complete. And then you also have your bonus bounties at the end, which are also daily bounties and they are of a random nature. So usually bounties will ask you to do very specific things, like in this case kill some challenging and other enemies, uh, or use different types of uh, abilities, so in this case the super ability, uh, or in some cases using specific types of damage, so in this case we're looking at void damage. The void damage can be done either by your F ability from your subclass, or you could also be using elemental weapons, uh, which will do that kind of damage, and as long as you can use that kind of weapon to get the kill, uh, then that will count towards your progression for that particular bounty. So now that we have all of the bounties that we can get, we're going to go ahead and exit out of here and move on to the next step, which is preparation. Now, preparation is pretty important because you want to make sure that you are as efficient as possible when planning out your bounties. So you're going to go ahead and check out the quests tab here. So you'll see we have our quests over on the left hand side. Bounties will always be over on the right hand side. Each bounty will tell you as before what it is that we need to complete to fill each bounty up and then get our reward. And at the bottom of each of these you'll see there's a progress bar, or in this case lack thereof, as we've not had any progression with the bounties that we just picked up. So moral of the story guys, it's always good to visit the quests section to help you prepare your character for your strikes. Now, we're actually going to prepare at this point, so we're going to go ahead and check out the inventory screen, and the first thing to look at is the subclass. Now, I have it selected as Void. Generally, I like to run the Arc damage type because I have a really good pair of gloves here uh, that augments my Arc grenade ability. But for the purpose of these bounties, we're going to be switching over to Void since that's the damage that it wants us to do. The kinetic one uh, is fine, that we can leave that as it is, but this machine gun here, I really want to switch that out. Uh, one, because it does arc damage, but two, because it is not a scout rifle like Symmetry. Uh, I know that Symmetry does not do void damage, but it will help us to fill our scout rifle bounty, um, which is going to be pretty easy because we'll be killing most of the enemies with that. Now, I also want to switch over my heavy weapon because I have heavy weapons that can do void damage, so if we're fighting something a little tougher, uh, that's going to help us to get that void damage in as well. So I think we're going to go with the linear fusion rifle here, and as you can see on the top left hand corner of the paint, got that void damage, which will be very helpful. The rest of the gear looks pretty good here, so I think we can go ahead and start the strike. Alright, so to get started with our strikes, going to go ahead and open up the director. On the bottom left hand corner here, you'll see Vanguard, you'll want to click on that and you'll be presented with several options. Now, the one that we're interested in is going to be the strike playlist because that's a really easy way to get started. But you'll see at the bottom of these that there are some weekly challenges. You can complete these challenges once you've reached gear level 900, which is something we might talk about in a future video. Um, but it's definitely an option to get some additional gear if just running strikes alone is not quite enough. So once you start getting ready for endgame, you can definitely experience that. And you can see that there are some modifiers here. These go up with difficulty levels, but for the time being, there's only three here for the regular difficulty level in the Vanguard Strikes. So we'll go ahead and just click on the launch button when we're ready to launch into the strike. And then we'll be match made with other players who are looking for a similar strike experience. 
You might not notice it as you're running around massacring everything in sight, but the bounties do show up on the right hand side of your screen once you complete them, giving you a rough idea of how much you've got left to go and what's already been done. Now this is a really good thing because Destiny 2 can be an absolutely crazy game sometimes with some really frantic action and the last thing you want to be doing is going into your quests menu while your buddies are getting their ass handed to them by a boss. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. Have a look on the right hand side of your screen. Keep an eye out so that you can be updated on the progress of your bounties. Now we're going to go ahead and finish up with this strike and check back into the quests menu to see what we have left to do and all the rewards that we can get. Well, let's check it out. All right, so you've completed your first strike and now you're looking to turn in some of those bounties. So we're going to go ahead and open up the director to do that. And as before, we're going to go over to the left hand side where you can see quests. You can go ahead and click that uh, or just press the A key on your keyboard. And over here, you'll see the bottom right hand corner will indicate that those two are complete. And we still have some progress left to go on the rest of the bounties here indicated by the progress bar. Another strike ought to fix that right up, but I think we want to go talk to Zavala and see if we can get some sweet loot for all of our troubles. Now, just like the strikes, you will have a weekly bonus here from several of the different vendors in the tower, and that includes Zavala. So if you see at the bottom here, when we hover over him, there is a challenge to complete eight bounties. And if you do two or three strikes, you should easily be able to do that in one or two days. So that's a great way to get geared up when you've hit the soft cap of 900. So we've made it back to the tower and we're going to go ahead and speak with Zavala one final time so if we can uh, get some additional rewards that would be pretty cool. Now of course you're going to get rewards for running the strikes and you will get your rewards for doing the daily, the random daily and the weekly bounties. But what you'll also be getting from those bounties is tokens which you can hand in to Zavala right here. And that will gain you some reputation which you can use to then get an engram. So each time that you fill up your reputation bar you will get an engram. Now, as you can see down here, we're having a look at our uh, bounties. And as you can see, they are red, which means they've been completed. The weekly ones reset on Tuesday and the daily ones reset each day. So let's go ahead and hand these tokens in. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a very nice uh, engram here, 919. Just click on that to deposit it directly into your inventory, along with any other things like shaders that you may get. Go ahead and deposit any additional uh, tokens that you have. That'll just increase your reputation bar, which you should be able to fill up several times, especially if you're going for those weekly challenges uh, for bounties as well as the weekly strike challenges. Hey, look at you. You made it to the end of the video. That's awesome. Thank you so much for watching all the way through and I really do appreciate all the inspiration all of you have been giving me. It's really a blast to make these videos, even though it can be hard work, but I'm so happy that it makes other people happy and at least helps other people in some way. Speaking of which, if this video did help you at all, it would really help me if you obliterate that like button. And if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments how I can make the next video better. Now with the holidays coming up, I just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, or whatever else that you happen to celebrate. Make sure to spend some time with your family and play some video games. With that being said, I hope to see you guys in Destiny 2 and in the next video. Bye for now.